So your Facebook page advertising access is permanently restricted. Been there, done that. As you can see over here, this page is restricted since December 2022. And this is just one of the pages that I have. So for those that want just like a simple yes or no question, no, you can't get this page back. However, if you will stick around, I will show you how to prevent that from happening in the future and how you will be able to get back on running Facebook ads in no time. So first I would like to cover some of the main reasons why your your Facebook page can get permanently restricted. First reason will be many ads got rejected. So that means that you run Facebook ads and your ads that you submitted for a review got rejected too many times. It might be because you violate some policies or your ads are just not compliant with Facebook guidelines. Next will be low feedback score. So this is more applicable for businesses that sell physical products like e-commerce stores. Most business owners don't even know that Facebook sends surveys to users that made a purchase through your ad and the standard time is usually about two weeks but let's say if your shipping time is longer than that let's say three weeks maybe a month and someone gets your survey before the product actually arrived then they will probably just leave you a bad feedback because they still didn't get the product so what you need to do in that case is you need to go to your Facebook page settings and you need to set up the shipping times according to your your own next we have a failed appeal and weak profile so something very interesting that I can see happening with my clients sometimes when their page get restricted and they try to appeal on it and they don't really have too much history of running ads with their profile so I see it usually fails however if I try to appeal on it where I have very strong profile have multiple ad accounts multiple business managers connected to their profile and I run ads on a regular basis then most of the time I can get this page back next one will be duplicate page with the same name so here's the thing if you will try to just create a new page with the same exact name with the same details then Facebook will just see that as you trying to bypass their policies and they will just restrict that page as well suspicious activities so that also happened to some of my clients that they provide access to certain freelancers or agencies to their page and they might not work with them anymore but they forgot that they gave them that access let's say a few months ago and then if those people or that profile of this person is doing something shady then this is going to affect your Facebook page because they are still linked to your Facebook page the last one will be running conversion ads so here's the thing if you run conversion ads with purchases leads whatever it will be then you pretty much going to be on the risky side in terms of Facebook ads even if you will be 100% inside the guidelines and you will do everything properly there's still very high chance for your page to get restricted and this is why you can see many big brands big companies they always always have multiple pages that they use to run conversion ads so some of the ways to get back to advertising on Facebook ads the first one will be contacting Facebook support so you can simply go to Facebook help center and try reaching out their support but honestly Facebook support is pretty broken system so I wouldn't count on it next will be buying a new page that is AAR advertising access reinstated so I have a video in my channel where I share how to get back to Facebook if your profile is permanently restricted and the main solution of it is getting advertising access reinstated profiles so that you can do the same thing you can buy pages that got restricted and then reinstated and now they have the status of advertising access reinstated this state is very strong so this is why you want to use these pages and profiles so you buy the pages you just change them the name and you put Put in your own information and that's pretty much all and last one which is my most favorite is creating a new page I told you that creating a new page with the same name will be a problem however if you will create a new page with a slightly different name then Facebook won't have any issue with it let's say for example if you have you know multiple branches of your business let's say if you have McDonald's in New York McDonald's Los Angeles so essentially when you changing your name slightly you tell Facebook that okay this is not the exact same page and this is really what worked for me and I was able to create multiple pages and get back to running Facebook ads so for example you can use the name yourshop.com another page will be your shop us another page will be your shop global so you just try to be creative and create those mini branches for your business and this way you will be able to create multiple pages and just have your main 
main ones safe and don't really run Facebook ads on this main one and use those other conversions pages to run Facebook ads so you will stay protected. All right, that's pretty much all for this video. But in case your Facebook profile got advertising access permanently restricted, then I highly, highly recommend you to watch the video that I made about it.